You know, recently I've been thinking about getting a cat or maybe a dog, but, you know, I I think to myself, I, I, I can barely take care of myself, so I, I don't think I'm responsible enough to own one of those creatures and uh, take care of it responsibly, you know. So instead I decided to get a slime mold. I think they're a little bit easier to take care of and uh, it's a little bit more ethical if I uh, <laughs> let a slime mold die or, or <laughs> be in distress than a larger mammal. So, uh, yeah, this, this thing is really fascinating. It's uh, surprised me a bunch. So this was the original Petri dish that the slime mold came on. And yesterday I was noticing it getting closer to the edge of the container. So it was coming from the center here. There's a little bit of condensation on the top of this plate. But it was in the center here, and it was slowly making its way to the edge. It was like here, and I was worried it was going to escape. So I decided it was time to, to replate it. So I replated it. This is after less than 24 hours of growth, probably more like 15 hours of growth. So what I did is I sterilized a scalpel, cut out a small section of the agar that contained the slime mold that was trying to escape, and then put the wedge on top on its side. So you can see it was on its side there and put little bits of oatmeal all around it. And you can see it's already found a new snack. It's uh, extended its little tentacle this way, it's found its snack, and it's started to enjoy its meal. This, this, this thing is absolutely fascinating. I want to do some interesting uh, electrical experiments with it to see how it responds to electricity or, or any, any voltage that it generates. I think I saw some paper about that a while back. Uh, this thing is fascinating. Uh, I'm having a good time with it best pet of 2021 right here <laughs> this little bastard is fascinating this has been growing for three days in the dark since that last video and it's it's formed these really really cool looking connections but i, I sort of hate talking about that because every single video on youtube at least the five that i watched all they talk about is how the slime mold replicates japan's subway system or whatever and if you put pieces of food that represents where Japan's biggest centers of population are, then the slime mold will grow and replicate Tokyo's subway system. Whatever. I think this is way more fascinating than just something like that. Although it has formed these really interesting connections, this sort of loop around the food source reminds me of like a, like a beltway, like a, what are they called? Like those highways that go around cities in a circle. I, I think that's cool, but I think there's a lot more cool here. So you can see the original plate that they sent me has grown like crazy. There are these sort of nodes that are forming and some sort of spider webby looking things. They also sent me this little resource guide and you can see the life cycle of this little buddy is insane. It's, it's, it's so complicated. I mean, you, you have this, the, the plasmodium is what they call it. Uh, that's sort of the stage that we're at. There's sclerotium, like I said in the last clip, that can form. Uh, and then there's spores that can form. And those spores can form amoeboids, which are single cellular things that go around eating things. It, it, it's insane. And if you, if you put the slime mold in certain conditions, then they'll form these particular structures. If you expose them to light and starve them, they'll do this spore forming meta <laughs> and if you if you take those spores and then you culture them they'll form these amoeboids that swim around and uh eat bacteria it's 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 just fascinating the the sclerotia that form can be formed from being dark and cold and starved and treated with a certain chemical and then that sclerotia is just like a little nugget of life and if you put it in the right conditions and it will grow again sort of like a seed it it's just fascinating so i think there's not enough resources online about how to take care of these uh, so if you want to see more videos on how exactly to take care of them i'm pretty sure you can also culture them in like damp paper towels or something um, specifically i want to do some interesting experiments with these so if you have ideas for experiments Leave them in the comments below. You know, maybe if you want to play with these yourself, 
maybe I can send you a little sample. So, so if you want a sample, uh, leave a comment below and maybe I'll, I'll, uh, choose one of the comments to, to send a little piece of my precious little slime mold to. All right. So this video is a little bit more casual than usual, but I, I think this is really interesting. And I, I think there's some, some science that can be done here. So again, leave a comment below if you have any ideas here. Uh, and at the end of this video, I'll put some microscope footage that I took of the little nutrients being shuttled around the plasmodium. That's really cool.